Hello, everybody. So this is exciting. You have been accepted as a dental receptionist. What should you expect your first day on the job? Now, of course, I have not worked in every office, but I have worked in several and I have been a dental receptionist and I've trained dental receptionists. I've been in the dental profession for about 17 years. I now currently have my own dental hygiene mobile practice. But what should you expect the first day? So I am hoping that at the office where you are going to be, they're going to train you first. When I started as a dental receptionist 17 years ago, they trained me for a good two weeks. So I was not actually answering phones in front of patients, signing patients out for at least a couple of weeks. I had another dental receptionist in the back work with me on another computer where she just kind of explained everything. She sort of trained me how to answer phones, trained me on insurance claims, all of that. Um, if she wasn't there, then I was in charge of calling patients that was on the recall list to let them know that they are due for their next teeth cleaning, because that's easy. You don't really need training for that. They literally print out a list for you and say, call these patients, tell them they are due. And then, of course, they're going to show you how to book those appointments. But that takes very little training. So the good news is your first day will hopefully just be training, okay? So that is something you should expect. But I want you to be prepared for a couple of things. I want you to wear a uniform. I highly suggest asking the office um, what their uniform policy is. Don't just show up in a tank top, jeans. You know, I want you to be wearing a uniform. At the very least, if for some reason you forget to ask what the uniform policy is, I suggest wearing nice black pants. Hopefully you have some, some black pants. Buy a lab coat. So you can wear whatever shirt you want perhaps, but buy a lab coat. Look professional. They will think of you so highly right away if you show up looking professional on your first day. Because typically what ends up happening is people show up in tank tops and jeans or their poofy sweater, sweatpants. You guys, when I see that, I literally just want to let that person go and say, forget it. If you can't take this job seriously, we don't want you here. But it's not up to me, right? So please look professional. And I suggest bringing a notebook, not just your cell phone to take notes on. Please don't do that. Bring a notebook, bring a binder, bring pens, bring highlighters and take notes because they likely won't have notes for you. Some of them do, some of them don't, but please take notes. And these are some questions that I want you to ask. Maybe not right away because I'm hoping they're going to walk you through all of this, but I want you to ask these certain things. I want you to ask what computer software they use, and then maybe you can do some research about it when you go home. Some of them have some really good YouTube videos, but there's so many insurance companies out there, or sorry, not insurance companies. There are so many dental softwares out there that you might not find the one that your office uses, but ask the name, write it down so you can try to do the research when you, when you go home. You're going to have homework as a dental receptionist if you want to succeed and impress people. The hardest part, I would say, being a dental receptionist is just figuring out their computer system, okay? Figuring out their computer system. Because as every dental receptionist, you're going to book appointments, you're going to call patients, you're going to answer the phone, you're going to submit insurance claims through, you're going to, when a patient's done their appointment, you're going to put their treatment through, but that's all fine and dandy, but every dental software is different on how to do it. You might have to click here, click there, open up this menu, open up that menu, but the good is the good news is, you guys, is you will learn. I promise you. It's going to seem very overwhelming at first. Believe me, I've been there. I've done that. I've probably dealt with at least seven different dental companies, like dental um, software companies. Or if it's all on paper, some offices are still on paper. But the first question, like I said, is to please ask what dental software they are using. So hopefully you can look it up later. And hey, maybe you can ask another dental receptionist that you know. Ask assistants, ask hygienists in Facebook groups. Tell me, I might be able to help you. I might have worked with that software before. So definitely ask that. Um, 
So the first day I would suspect you would be going through training. What they might want you to do is answer phones, but I kind of feel like they might not because what are you gonna say? Um, if they wanna book an appointment, you would be like, um, how do I do that? I don't know, I'm gonna put you on hold, you know? So li likely they're not going to have you answer phones until you know how to do things, obviously, right? Um, but I suspect they might have you call patients who are due for cleaning. So at the very least, they're going to train you how to book appointments. So patients that are currently in the schedule, how to book their appointment. Booking a new patient appointment is different because you have to enter them into the system. So that's usually something that they do later. So I would say they might show you how to book appointments. They might have you on the phone to call in those patients who are due. So good luck, you guys. Please send me an email and tell me how your first day was and let me know what they had you do so I can do another video for other dental receptions to prepare them for next time. So thank you guys, good luck, and let me know if any questions.